When we talk about the biggest star ever discovered, you might expect a clear answer, a definite champion. But the truth is astronomy doesn't always work that way. Stars are distant, gigantic, and often surrounded by dust and gas. Their edges are fuzzy, their brightness variable, and tiny errors in distance turn into massive uncertainties in size. So when scientists say, this is the largest star we know, what they really mean is based on current data with plenty of room for debate. Picture this, you're standing under the night sky, staring at the brightest stars. To your eyes, they're just tiny points of light. Even a monster like Stephenson 218, a red supergiant that could stretch billions of kilometers across, still looks like nothing more than a faint speck from Earth. No matter how powerful our telescopes are, most stars never look any bigger than a dot. And that's our first problem, we can't actually see their surfaces. The Sun is the only star close enough for us to study in detail. For everything else, distance turns them into mysteries. So how do scientists figure out their size? The trick is to measure a star's angular diameter, basically how big it looks in the sky, and then combine that with its distance to calculate its true size. Simple in theory, but here's the catch. Those angular diameters are ridiculously tiny. Even the Hubble Space Telescope struggles to resolve them. That's where interferometry comes in. It's a clever technique where multiple telescopes work together as if they were one giant telescope. Only then can we start to glimpse the edges of these supergiants. But even with interferometry, the challenge isn't over. Red supergiants aren't neat, solid spheres. Their outer layers are vast clouds of gas swelling and collapsing with dust swirling all around them. Their surface is fuzzy, like smoke drifting in the air. Imagine trying to measure the height of a bonfire while the flames are constantly changing shape. That's what it's like to measure these stars. And then comes the biggest headache of all, distance. If we misjudge a star's distance by just 5%, the error in its calculated radius could be hundreds of times the size of our sun. Add in the fact that these stars vary in brightness, pulse and dim, and hide behind veils of dust. And suddenly, different research teams end up with wildly different results. In short, measuring the biggest star is like trying to weigh a cloud with a bathroom scale. The numbers keep shifting. That's why the title of largest star ever discovered keeps changing hands. Today, one giant might hold the crown. Tomorrow, new data might put another in the spotlight, but that's not a flaw. That's the beauty of science. Each measurement gets us a little closer to the truth. And along the way, we've met some incredible contenders for the throne of the largest star in the universe. Let's start with UI Scuti, the most widely recognized champion for now. It's a red supergiant star, sitting about 9,500 light years away in the constellation Scutum. Astronomers estimate its radius to be anywhere between 900 and 1700 times the Sun's radius. With recent studies leaning toward the upper end around 1700 solar radii, this makes it very likely the largest star currently confirmed. Now, what does that mean? When astronomers talk about the size of other stars, we often use the Sun as our measuring stick. One solar radius is about 696,000 kilometers, that's nearly 110 times the size of the Earth. So if a star is said to be 1,000 solar radii, it's literally 1,000 times bigger than our Sun. For UI Scuti, that works out to a surface that could stretch close to the orbit of Jupiter if placed at the center of our solar system. Its surface is relatively cool, only about 3,300 Kelvin, giving it a deep red glow. And it's unstable. UY Scuti pulsates, shedding enormous amounts of mass into space, and its brightness changes over time. That's why some measurements shrink it a little, but even at the lower estimates, it remains one of the very largest stars we've ever found. To put this into perspective, imagine trying to fly around UY Scuti in a modern passenger jet. At about 900 kilometers per hour, it would take you over 3,000 years to complete just one lap around the star's surface. By comparison, flying around the Earth at the same speed would take you less than two days. That's the scale we're talking about. UY Scuti isn't just big, it's almost beyond human imagination. 
Now, let's turn our attention to a true cosmic heavyweight, Stephenson 218, the challenger to UI Scuti's title. Stephenson 218 is classified as a red hypergeant, one of the most rare and massive stars known, nestled in the Stephenson 2 star cluster, located a staggering 20,000 light years away. That's more than twice as far as UI Scuti, making it much harder to study in detail. Some of the most recent studies estimate Stephenson 218 radius at a jaw dropping 2150 solar radii. To visualize that, if you placed it at the center of our solar system, its surface would extend well beyond Saturn's orbit. But here's where things get tricky. Other studies suggest smaller radii, anywhere from 1500 to over 2000 solar radii based on different assumptions, whether it truly belongs to the Stephenson 2 cluster, the exact amount of dust between us and the star, and how far away it actually is. So the size estimates vary dramatically. If the higher numbers are accurate, Stephenson 218 would take the crown as the largest star yet discovered. But if the lower estimates are correct, then it might not surpass UI Scuti in size. In short, Stephenson 218 is a fierce contender, but the uncertainties in its distance and membership mean we can't definitively say it's the biggest. Yet. The debate continues, fueled by improving measurements and better models. Now, let's travel outside our galaxy and dive into two other massive contenders. Stars that once held the throne of biggest known stars, but whose crowns have been challenged by better data. V.Y. Canis Majoris, once the largest, now reassessed. V.Y. Canis Majoris, a red hypergeant in the constellation Canis Major, was once considered the largest known star, with early estimates suggesting a radius exceeding 3,000 times that of the Sun. More recent studies have revised this figure to approximately 1,400 to 1,700 solar radii. Even at the lower end of this range, V.Y. Canis Majoris remains a colossal star, with a volume nearly 8 billion times that of the Sun. If placed at the center of our solar system, its surface would extend beyond Jupiter's orbit. Despite its impressive size, V.Y. Canis Majoris is no longer the uncontested champion due to updated measurements and the inherent challenges in accurately determining the size of such distant and variable stars. WOHG 64, a red hypergeant in the Large Magellanic Cloud, was initially thought to have a radius exceeding 3,000 solar radii. Recent models, accounting for factors like interstellar dust and distance, suggest a more modest size of approximately 1,500 to 2,000 solar radii. This places WOHG 64 among the largest known stars, though it trails behind Stephenson 218 and UI Scuti in current size rankings. The challenges in measuring WOHG 64's size stem from its location in a satellite galaxy. The presence of dense interstellar dust and the complexities of distance estimation, all of which contribute to the uncertainties in its size determination. Why UY Scuti holds the title? Despite the larger upper estimates for VY Canis Majoris and WOHG 64, UY Scuti is still considered the largest known star by many astronomers. This is due to several factors. First, measurement consistency. UY Scuti size estimates, while variable, have been consistently observed and studied over time, providing a reliable data set for comparison. Second, observational precision. The star's location in the Milky Way allows for more accurate distance measurements and less interference from interstellar dust, leading to more precise size estimations. And third, historical precedence. As one of the first stars to be identified as a red supergiant of such immense size, UY Scuti has held the title of the largest known star for an extended period, establishing its prominence in astronomical literature. While newer contenders like Stephenson 218 have emerged with potentially larger sizes, the uncertainties in their measurements, such as distance estimation and membership in star clusters, prevent them from definitively surpassing UY Scuti in size. In summary, VY Canis Majoris, 
once the reigning giant has quietly shrunk in our estimates and stepped out of the spotlight. WOH G64 and Stephenson 218 are still in the running, with Stephenson 218 looming as a particularly fierce contender. For now, UI Scuti wears the crown of the largest known star, not because it's undeniably the biggest, but because its size has been measured with the highest precision. The other giants? Their true scale remains a bit of a cosmic mystery. As our telescopes get sharper and our measurements more exact, the title of the largest star in the universe could shift again, proving that in astronomy, the only constant is change.